What's up? Something else that I've been pursuing outside of murals is live wedding painting. I think it became a trend on TikTok because I started seeing live wedding painters like out of nowhere. Around the same time I started painting, everyone else started getting married and people started asking me to live paint their weddings. And it just so happens that tomorrow I have a wedding painting. My buddy Nolan is getting married to his fiance, Allie. I've known Nolan since I was in elementary school. We've been hanging out since all the way back then. I figured this would be a fun one to show people. I will say I have been requested to kind of teeter the line between guest and painter because you know, it is Nolan's day and I wanna make sure that I'm present for the ceremony as a friend too. I've done a lot of work on the back end this time to try to ensure that I get as much as I can done, which honestly, I think I'm gonna start doing going forward. Initially, when I've done live wedding paintings, I've had this idea that I have to have a blank canvas when I show up. I didn't read the rule book for live wedding painting, but I'm pretty sure it's okay if you do some prep work. I've consulted with Nolan and Allie already. Allie's given me some reference photos of the venue that they're gonna be getting married at. I can get a base sketch before I even show up to the venue. I will say, some of y'all might have something to say about this. I don't care. But I also do think it's important that I tell you. I used one of these. Projectors are not cheating. I feel comfortable using a projector because in the event that I don't have one, I have other ways of doing what I need to do. Projectors just make it faster and more precise, honestly. I, I, I've, look, I've done a lot of research. Everyone freaking uses projectors. Everyone, everyone uses them. They're a good tool. Sorry, <laughs> I'm projecting. <laughs> I bring this little leather rolling box that my mom gave me, but it's just essentially a little carrying case. I bring the table, easel. I make sure I have paint, my brushes, the canvas, obviously. Tell you what, they were worried about it raining, but right now it is bright. Everything I have left to do this morning is get to the venue and get set up and start painting. I was gonna like post up outside, paint, and then like move to the inside for the reception. But honestly, with how humid it is, I'm probably just gonna stay inside and go out to the ceremony when it's happening. And I know what people are probably thinking, Scott, if it's so humid and hot, why are you wearing a beanie and flannel? To that I say, shut up. I've been painting for about five hours. The way I approach it, before the ceremony actually starts is I know generally where people are gonna be standing, so I just kind of refrain from painting in that area until I have a reference photo from the ceremony. So for right now, I'm just kind of doing the trees around the sky. I don't know what to call it, but that gazebo thing in the middle, uh, I'm painting that, putting some detail. I just kind of painted what I knew would not be blocked by the bride and groom or the wedding party or the guests sitting in the benches. So the wedding is over and the painting is not done yet. Before people agree to me painting their wedding, I always let them know that I'm probably not gonna finish. Like I said, what I do try to do is I try to get the bride and groom painted as well as a majority of the landscape. One thing that also I think slows me down a lot is the fact that the past few wedding paintings I've done, I've used oil paint. A lot of people probably say that's a bad idea. Oil takes so long to dry. I use Galkid as a medium. It speeds up the drying time, but 
it doesn't make it dry like super quick or anything. I just need to stop being lazy and get reacquainted with acrylic, but until then I'm using oil. They seem to love it so far. I also kind of called it a little bit early on this one too because I did want to be a guest before I left. It varies how long it takes me to get a painting done after a wedding. I've got work, I've got other projects sometimes, so it really just depends. But for now, I think I have some time where I can really focus on this and knock it out in the next week and a half, so that's what I'm gonna try to do. point I'm gonna take a picture of the painting where it's at right now and see what Nolan and Allie think about it if they think it's done I think it's done some thoughts people probably have with the final product one big thing is why is there not more detail in the faces I think one thing that makes paintings paintings sometimes is the fact that they don't look like photographs you know like I want the final product to kind of stay true to what they saw at the wedding I can paint faces I like the idea of having different styles for different events and different kinds of paintings that I do Sometimes I do kind of crazy stuff. Sometimes I try to go more realistic. And uh, for my wedding paintings, I just like having the loose strokes and kind of capturing the spirit of the day. I feel like this is a fun style for wedding paintings. I think, you know, as I progress as an artist and as I get faster, I'll be able to preserve more detail, get more done the day of the wedding. I'm just not there yet right now. One thing that might help me with that is using acrylic over oil paint. There's still a lot of things that I'm learning with wedding paintings, but it's a fun process and I'm having a good time. I've mostly done friends or friends of friends for wedding paintings at this point. It's nice to be able to feel like I'm contributing to a special day like that with something that I cared so deeply about. But anyway, and we're gonna let it dry, get it varnished, and we're gonna go get this thing delivered. All right. Nolan and Allie were stoked with the final result. I brought it over there and I hung out for a little bit. I saw a few places where they were planning on potentially hanging it up. So yeah, that's pretty much my process when it comes to painting weddings. If you're looking for tips on how to paint weddings, I hope you found some of this helpful. But for now, I'm gonna get started on my next project. I will see you in the next video.